Bootcamp, JavaScript algos, and data structures. We are in basic JavaScript on challenge 93 of 113. So today we are going to access nested objects. Fun. Okay, so uh, basically what this is saying here we, is we can access the sub properties within objects. So we can access the values within objects by chaining together notation, either dot or bracket notation. So we have an object called R storage. It's this entire object here and it has different properties like desk, which is an object, cabinet, which is an object, and even within cabinet we have uh, another object, top drawer, which is another object. So uh, if we were trying to access folder 2 right here, we would say our storage, so we're in our storage, so we're in this entire object, dot cabinet, so now we're just in cabinet, and then we would say top drawer, now we're within top drawer, so we have all this data now, and we'd say folder two. So now we can just access that one specific value. Um, same thing with desk. If we wanted to access this drawer property, we'd have to say our storage, so we can access this entire object, dot desk. So now we're just access, accessing the desk object. And then we can say dot drawer, which is the value stapler. Um, so basically what we're going to do in this example is access the my storage object and assign the contents of the glove box property to the glove box contents variable. Use dot notation for all properties where possible, otherwise use bracket notation. Okay, no problem. So basically what we're going to do is access this uh, glove box property right here and we're going to set it to this constant, this variable here. Okay, so all we're gonna do is go down here and we're gonna say uh, my storage dot. So now we have, we are within the entire my storage object. So we have this, all this data to access. And then we can say, we're trying to access the glove box. So we wanna go in through inside, which is in car. So we can say dot car. Now we're inside cars, so now we have access to this data. And then we need to get glove box, which is inside inside. So my car dot inside. And then let's actually let's console log this right now so we can see where we're at. So now we should just get back this this piece of data. We should just get back these two values. So as you can see, we now just have those two values, glove box, ma which is maps, and passenger seat, which is crumbs. That's, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. All right, so now we just need the glove box property. So then we can just say dot, well, we could say dot glove box, but glove box has a space. So in this case that we have a space, we don't want to use dot notation, we want to use the bracket notation. So then we can just insert a string which is the uh, key that we want to access. So glove space box. And as you can see, it is maps. That is what we're trying to access. So now we have this value that we're accessing and we want to assign it to this variable, glove box contents. So if we remember how to change the uh, value in, a, in an object, we simply just assign it with an equal sign. So we can now just say glove box contents. So now that specific value and glove box is equal to whatever glove box contents is, which is in this case undefined. So if we were to console.log my storage, we would see that glove box now within it is undefined because we just reassigned it here. And that's all we should have to do for this one. Um, it's not gonna like that because I'm adding all these console logs. Uh, oh, okay, so it wants us to assign this to the glove box, uh, glove box contents property. So in this case, instead of undefined, we would just simply, we would simply, if I can copy, cut this guy and put him right there. And that's all we have to do for that one. So I basically just misread this because I was kind of rushing through it. But what we were trying to do was assign glove box contents, this variable, to be maps rather than change maps 
to be whatever this was. So now we are assigning this, this variable to be whatever is in this location, which in this case is maps. So that's all we have to do for this one. Hope to see you guys in the next lesson.